Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is just going to be a, a bit of a haul, uh, brand specific. And I thought it'd be fun to share everything in one video. There are some makeup -y bits and there's some nail polish bits. Um, I don't know if nail polish stuff interests you, but I do know that at least one person on here cares. So uh, this is for you, Shaz. <laughs> but hopefully it's interesting to other people too. Uh, so the brand is MBA Cosmetics. I had the Cosmic Bubbles palette. Really liked it. I thought the quality was great. I have decluttered it simply because I wasn't reaching for it. It's a smaller palette and I declutter things so they can be used. If they're here and I'm not reaching for it, it that's wasteful and I'm not into that. So I don't have it anymore, but only because I just wasn't using it, but it was definitely nice. So I stalk her website all the time. Uh, obsessively, no but at least a couple of times a week, I just go and look and see. And I know it's kind of like not super cool, but I mostly only purchase when there's a sale or clearance things. And I know for the brand that probably sucks, but I am trying not to spend a ton of money. This was an accident, okay? I cannot be held responsible for this one. It's not my fault. Okay, so we're just going to move past my try not to spend money and, you know, this. So I will go through all the nail polish things first real quick, and then we'll move on to the makeup -y bits. There's not a boatload of makeup -y bits. There's kind of a lot of nail polish. Okay. So I haven't used all of these yet. I've only used a few because I just got them super recently. One of the ones I got is, okay, so the um, nail polish is Polished and Pretty by MBA. And some of these caps are white and some are black. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm sure there's a reason. So let's talk about this one first. Little Miss Sunshine. This is supposed to be a thermal. So it changes color with heat or cold. It goes from yellow to super duper red, according to the website. I whacked on a couple coats of this and then left it. Nothing happened. I don't know if I just didn't use enough or what, but usually her thermal nail polishes are fantastic. I've loved all of them and I'll insert a picture of my nail polish racks. I have quite a few MBA polishes. So this one I have to play with more, so I'm not reviewing it now. I'm just letting you know. I have used it. It wasn't amazing, but I think it might have been user error. So I'm going to try that again. Um, let's go with the next collection that I picked up. These were all on sale except for one of the collections. Maybe this one or this one. It was this one. This one wasn't on this one wasn't on clearance, but there was a 20 or 30 percent off um, sale happening. So this is I want to say it's the Rainbow Collection. I had picked up the shade Infinite. That's what I thought it was. Infinite Rainbow. I don't know what you can see on camera but these are beautiful multi-chrome nail polishes so i had that one so when i saw the other four i thought well i gotta get those too right so then we have solar rainbow which is again just stunning i think it's like pink and orange and yellow it's so pretty some green they're amazing you can hear puppers they keep postponing her appointment to get her little self fixed and she's in heat again poor baby okay now we have 
phantom rainbow, which is green, pink, orange. I mean, they are just so beautiful. I have used the green and the orange one. I'll get to that in a minute. And then we have cosmic rainbow, which is pink, green, yellow. These are almost holographic. They don't quite hit all of the shades in the rainbow, or all the colors rather, but they are beautiful. And the last one in this collection is... Are you kidding me? I bought Infinite Rainbow twice. Uh, but they look different. So I have the original Infinite Rainbow, and then I have this one. Those look completely different. I honestly, genuinely did not know that until the right this very as we speak in. I had no idea. Okay then, interesting. Hmm, okay, well, whatever. They're different enough that I can wear them both. Okay, so I wore the pink and the green, and nope, the orange and the green. They were very, very sheer, but like in a pigmented way, if that makes sense. Uh, I was wearing them in a video, but I topped each of them with one of these unicorn shades. So I picked up all of the unicorn <laughs> polishes as well. And we have Unicorn Dreams, which I put over the orangey shade. It's so pretty. They're very like chunky, sparkly, glittery uh, shades. It's not shades, why do I keep saying shades? Uh, nail polishes, colors. And then I have unicorn candy and I put that over the green. I just wanted to see what they would look like, you know, layered up and they are so cool. They're just so cool. And then we have unicorn garden. Just, I mean, look at that. I don't even know how well you can see these, but they're so pretty. And then there's Unicorn, unicorns do exist. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I mean, just super, super fun. Did I need every single one? Probably not, but I got them all. Unicorn Kiss. In fact, I'm pretty sure she put one of these in either as a gift with purchase or as a mistake because I don't think I meant to get all of them, but I have all of them. And I, yeah, I didn't order all of them. I skipped one, but they're all here. And then we have Unicorn Life is the last one in this collection. And these are just, they're all so beautiful and fun. I really like super fun nail polish, super fun makeup, you know, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So those are all really cool. I, when I use a chunky glittery formula like this, I will often use one of those like little white um, triangle wedge sponge thingies and let put some on, let it absorb a lot of the like liquid nail polish and then pat it on my nail and the chunky bits stick and it doesn't end up with like so much nail polish. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Okay, and then I picked up a ton of last year's uh, like winter nail polishes because they were on clearance. Twinkle Lights really just kind of looks like snow at night under a full moon maybe. I'm very excited to play with these, so pretty. And then I got all that glitters is gold, even though it should be all of everything that glitters is not gold, according to Dan Seals, but just so pretty. 
I cannot wait to use these. I mean, these scream Christmas nails to me. And then Midnight Hour, <sighs> the sparkle. I cannot wait to put this one on. And then the absolute last thing I need is a red nail polish. I have all of their other red ones, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they have any more that I don't have. We have Christmas Ribbon, another sparkly red, just so pretty. And then we have Emerald Bobbles. One of these green ones is a thermal, I believe. I'm just not sure which one. We have Under the Mistletoe, and this one is one of the magnetic ones. They're calling them cat eyes now. It used to just be magnetic nail polish, but so I'm excited to play with this one. It's the only one I have left in my collection. I decluttered all of the old nail polishes that were magnetic and what have you. I suspect they're better now than they used to be. Next we have Cranberry Cocktail. I mean, just look at that. Oh, you like sparkly things, boy howdy. And then we have Twinkle Twinkle. Just another just glittery, gorgeous. Oh, love it. This is definitely holographic as well as you know, sparkly. So that's super fun. And then we have 1776. This one was a gift with purchase because I did not order this. It's got little stars all in it as a topper over one of the other shades. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. And we have Peppermint Kiss. I think this is the other thermal one. So it goes clear, I believe, and then green with the sparkles. I'm excited to play with that. I'm excited to play with all of these. I'm a nail polish fiend. And last but not least is Masquerade. I mean, just, they're all so beautiful. Can you even like get over it? I know it's super repetitive to keep saying the same thing, but it it's amazing to me how far nail polish has come. I mean, when Revlon launched their color zings, it was mind blowing. My stepsister and I were like, oh my gosh. And they, they never took off. And yet now everything is multi-chrome, which is exactly what they were, but this was back in, the late 90s or early 2000s. So weird to me. So those are all of the nail polishes. The clearance nail polishes, the most expensive one was 450. Typically these are anywhere from nine to 11 or $12 a bottle for like the multi-chrome shades and stuff because we know if, you know, because of our experience with the makeups that multi-chrome bits are more expensive to make. So to include them in any product, it's gonna cost a little bit more. So I mean, partly I feel bad for only buying things that are on sale or clearance, but yeah, I'm trying to pay for a cruise. So anyway, that's all the nail polishes. Like I said, let me know if you wanna see any of these in use. I have practiced filming a nail video. It's not good, but I think my last one is better than my first one. So um, I, of course, deleted all the footage because I was just practicing because I didn't know how to do it. And um, because of the muscular dystrophy, I can't reach my arms out in front of me. So when I film, it has to be like, very close to my like physical body and it's a whole thing so i'll do it if if you want to see me do nail stuff um just let me know okay so let's move on to the makeup -y bits first she included this um water activated eyeliner as a gift with purchase which i thought was very very nice i'm excited i haven't been playing with 
uh, water activated liners recently, but I want to. <clears throat> and then I picked up a lipstick, like a bullet lipstick, and this says Truth or Dare. It's like a red bullet lipstick. I wanted to give it a whirl. My lipstick collection has been um, whittled down significantly, and now I'm trying to curate like exactly what I like, what looks good, what feels good, you know, all of that. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. And again, these are all on clearance. And I picked up two highlighters. I know the last thing I need is a highlighter, but I didn't get any blushes. So I think I should get some credit for that. <laughs> this highlighter is in the shade Coral Glow. The highlighter itself comes in a little envelope and then these little containers are included. So I thought that was really cool. And then I grabbed Solar Flare. There were several shades of these, but I've never tried them before. So I thought it would be fun to play with. So that's that. And then I grabbed two eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> Did I need them? No, but they are beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous. So the first one is Romance Eyeshadow Palette Pink Crush Cosmetics. I don't know what that means. If it was like a, a collab or what it was, but let me take the little plastic shield thing off. This is definitely like a spring-ish color story, but also not in my opinion. Isn't that so pretty? Ah, I probably have most of these shades. Like they look very similar to Mel's bundle, but I wanted to give it a whirl, you know, just play with it and see what I think. And the color story is just ugh, so pretty. And then I grabbed this one, Enchanted Garden. Look at that picture. It's so pretty. I like flowers. And the inside is equally as beautiful. Look at that. way to play with these so and again on clearance so they were not expensive like at all I I can't remember exactly but maybe like six dollars really not expensive and like I said I really enjoyed the cosmic bubbles palette formula I just never I didn't reach for it enough to warrant hanging on to it so that is my MBA Cosmetics haul. Let me know all of your thinks. Whatever you're thinking, lay it on me. I want to play with makeups and do things that are either helpful for you or entertaining or, you know, whatever. Just want to have fun with makeup and nail polish and hanging out with you. So if you have any ideas, hit me. I'm ready. I'm always open to doing fun makeup-y things. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.